happy Wednesday. I don't know when the last time I made a What You Do On Wednesday was, but I'm doing one today. <laughs> um, I haven't done much today. I did go for my walk, and then I did some laundry. I had a smoothie using Teamy Blend's new vanilla protein powder. And then I made uh, at home oat milk, spiced oat milk latte a couple minutes ago. Well, more than a couple minutes ago. I am about to continue reading my Prisoner of Azkaban book. And I think I'm going to go over to my grandmother's this afternoon, or my grandparents' house this afternoon, and spend some time with them and see my mom and our dog and my stepdad if he's still there by the time I'm over there. I'm not really sure yet what time I'm going to go there. I have not seen Tessa, our dog, in if not a month, a month and a half or so now. So that'll be fun to see what happens. And then I think I'm going to come back to my dad's house where I am right now tonight. But if that doesn't happen, then I'll be back here tomorrow morning, which will be Christmas Eve morning. Um, I'm excited for Christmas Eve, and then we have Christmas. Um, so I'm, that will go well, I'm sure, and be lots of fun. I already got all my Christmas present wrapping done, which is exciting. Um, some of the presents for family on my dad's side are already over there somewhere under the tree. And then the presents for everyone on my mom's side, I am going to take over today. That way they're there already, except for my sister's, because I told her she could open hers either... Christmas Day morning when she comes here to my dad's house to visit with them for a little bit before we head to my grandma, my grandparents' house, or she could open it over there when we open presents with our mom or with, like, everyone else. So, that's all I know at the moment. Um, it's actually kind of a nice day out today. It's windy a little bit. And I think we're supposed to have rain. Don't know if we're going to get rain or not. But it's a chance in the forecast for rain. And I mean that's kind of all I have to say I think. Um, I am just going to come on here and briefly mention it here. I have a whole blog post written for it. And... I may or may not release it. I'm not sure. I might do it as a joint post where I do this video with that. I don't know. I just want to add in really quickly that for anyone who... I'm trying to figure out how to hold you right now. For anyone who hasn't heard or doesn't know, Instagram updated their privacy policy thing or whatever... What and their like new terms for this policy really aren't new terms, in my opinion. In my opinion, they're just being honest now and open about what's going on, probably because they're a part of a I think they're under a law like a lawsuit right now or something because of privacy infringement issues and stuff. And I just wanted to bring a little awareness on the issue in case you don't know that Instagram is not only Instagram but Facebook and anything that's owned by those companies are basically they're infringing on your privacy they're not just watching how you interact within their app they're watching how you interact with things on TVs televisions laptops your phone they are using your camera when you're in the app to see um, what your facial reactions are to different things and also to know what types of filters to suggest to you. And I know someone who 
they made a post, simple post, and their caption was, you know, uh, related to, I believe, holistic health and in some way, and her account got either deactivated or suspended or something, and she had to work with them to get it back, and all because of, like, her caption r r relating around holistic natural healing. My stepmom does stuff in a similar, you know, realm, and she got put in, like, Instagram suspension or whatever because of her, like, holistic health content, and some of these other, like, new things that they're doing in, in, in the apps are the algorithm. Everyone knows the algorithm sucks, so anyone who's an entrepreneur or in the health industry somehow or has a small business, then it's actually going to be really difficult and or, and or could be really difficult for getting business and clients and eyes on your products, your posts, whatever the case may be. But I wanted to raise awareness because I don't know what I will do yet. I probably won't fully get rid of my accounts because I'll probably need it for business stuff. But I just want everyone to be able to make the decision for themselves on if they want to support something like that still or not. Because... Truthfully, if it wasn't for my, like, blog and things that I'm pursuing right now, I probably would delete everything and just stop doing social media completely because I don't agree with that type of thing happening. But I felt it was important for me to come out and speak up about it so other people could be aware and not not know that this type of thing is going on in case it also makes them uncomfortable and they can get out of it if they so choose to do so. But other than that, I don't have um much else to talk about, I don't think. But I just haven't filmed one of these in a while. I wanted to come over here and say hi. I hope all of y'all are doing well. If you don't see this until after you know, Christmas and whatnot, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and if I don't see you before January 1st, I hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I am very excited to start a new year in 2021 and to see what it may bring for all of us. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.